Are you a podcaster? Maybe you've got that big idea and you're looking for a network to join. The multi-award winning Ozcast Network can get your content to eyes and ears all over the world. Join now for the first month free and you could be featuring this sound at the beginning of your podcast. Ozcast. Simply head to ozcastnetwork.com for details. Okay, beautiful people, do you want to know what Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, YouTube and Twitter were up to last week? Great, well stay tuned. Hello and welcome to the second edition of Hashtag Kari Social, which is a weekly update of what's happening with social media so you're up to date with the latest and greatest tools you can use for social media. Did I mention it's for social media? Now, this is ideal for marketeers, business owners, entrepreneurs, or anyone with an interest about posting on social media. I'm Kari Watt, the creator of The Kari Care Show, and I'm a digital strategist with nearly two decades of experience in marketing and communications. For the best digital and social media tips and to help you rank higher on Google search, Please subscribe to my podcast, hashtag Kari Cares, to make sure you never, ever miss out on these social updates. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Kari Watt for some good vibes and reach out to have a chat with me about your website issues or social media where I'm happy to answer questions. So let's head in to hashtag Kari social media update. Is it media updates? It's not really. It's just the updates. First, I want to talk about an app, and I'm not endorsed by this app at all, but because, you know, of COVID-19 and, you know, being at home, social distancing, not being able to work, all of that, people are using Zoom more. Now, there's a great free tool called ZMURL. I don't know how to really say it, but I'll put a link in the post below or I'll put the URL there. It's a free tool that lets you customize your Zoom call invite URL with a title an explanation and an image that shows up when you share the link on Twitter, Facebook or anywhere else. I think that's quite nice actually. So let's talk about Facebook. Facebook ads are important for your business during this pandemic and I'm going to cover why they are next week in my YouTube channel. So make sure that you head on over to YouTube. You can search for me, Kari Watts, but C-A-R-I-A-W-A-T-T. And make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next video comes out. I mean, you can click the subscribe button down on the right hand side. It only takes a couple of seconds and I'm so close to 100 followers already. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. It doesn't sound like a lot because you know my information's not viral but it's more informative so and thank you if you are a follower I really super super appreciate it. So Facebook has added a quiet mode to its app to make it less stressful as part of a wider response to the coronavirus pandemic and it's you know the basically it's to improve the well-being of users. I mean, the quiet mode turns off notifications from the mobile app and can be turned on manually or at certain times a day. Now, the quiet mode will stop push notifications and alerts coming up on your phone from the app, but it doesn't stop notifications from appearing while you're inside the app. But don't stress, though, if you're not using the app, you'll still receive privacy alerts, which is really important. Facebook is also ensuring users have access to accurate information and removing harmful content. Now, I think this is really important because there's so many um, incredulous things about the coronavirus that are popping up. There's also a lot of misinformation. What it's trying to do is to connect people to credible information on Facebook, Messenger, Instagram and WhatsApp. That means anything that is not fact-checked by three reputable sources, like from a journalistic point of view. Now, Facebook are now investing $100 million in in the news industry and supporting fact-checkers, which I think is really good. They're also banning ads and commerce sites for medical face masks, hand sanitizer, 
disinfecting wipes and COVID-19 test kits, which is also good because seriously, how often do you, how do you know that these things uh, have been checked or are actually doing what they say they're doing? And, you know, monetizing for those sort of things at the moment, I think it's really poor form. Let's talk about Instagram. Now, Instagram has expanded user access to Instagram direct messages by the web version of the app, letting you interact with your Instagram DMs via desktop. Yay! Because seriously, don't you think it was getting hard to send DMs to so many people contacting you on Instagram? It's so much easier to type on your laptop, isn't it? It's, it's faster. I don't know about you, but my thumbs were getting a good workout because I get quite a few DMs asking me about my social media playbook course or about SEO or, you know, website technical audit. Anyway, let's talk about Pinterest. Now, Pinterest is adding a new shop option to your Pinterest boards, which will enable you to put viable product recommendations based on the pins you've added to your collection. Now, they're adding a new shop tab, which means it'll make it easier to shop in stock products while you're searching on the platform. Pinterest are also adding a new shop similar button in visual search results, which will make it easy to find available products when searching. I think this is great if you're on selling products. I mean, I'm not sure if you can use it for courses, but I'm, you know, definitely interested in trying out the platform and I will report later in another podcast to see how that works and how you can set it up. LinkedIn has now made its new virtual events option available for all company pages as part of its efforts to assist brands dealing with the pandemic impacts. And if you want to know more about this, go to my website. It's kariwatt.com, spelled C-A-R-I-A-W-A-T-T.com and visit the insight section or you can sign up to my email list to receive these tips straight to your inbox on a monthly basis. And I really don't believe in spamming because the last thing I want is for you to feel uncomfortable with me. I want to offer you the best advice on this as possible i mean there's nothing worse right when you sign up to someone's email list and then you're bombarded with three to five emails in a day or even a week i have to say if you're doing this with your clients my advice is to stop it right now so let's talk about youtube youtube has updated its desktop site to make it more touch screen friendly woohoo if you head on over to youtube desktop site now using a tablet or a laptop with a touch screen you'll notice the three dot menu option is visible under all of the thumbnails of youtube videos previously you had to move a cursor over the video title for the three dot option to appear which meant you couldn't use it if you didn't have a mouse or a trackpad The new update also adds larger icons and the option to swipe the player up to enter full screen or down to transform it into a mini player, making them easier to tap, similar to what Facebook and Instagram already do. Now, YouTube's latest update also includes improvements to watch history. Now, which tells you which videos you've watched on a particular day or date so you can organize them easily. There's also a new way to organize your playlist with a move to the top or button option so you no longer have to drag and drop those videos. I think they've made some great improvements seeing that so many people are watching YouTube videos at the moment. So that's it for the Kari Social for this week. Remember to hit the like button and share this with a friend who could use a helping hand. Why? Because Kari cares about women helping women and men who could use a helping hand. Tune in next Tuesday for another social update. Until next time, peace. Are you a podcaster? Maybe you've got that big idea and you're looking for a network to join. The multi-award winning Ozcast Network can get your content to eyes and ears all over the world. Join now for the first month free and you could be featuring this sound at the beginning of your podcast. Ozcast. Simply head to ozcastnetwork.com for details.